Can it get any nuttier than this? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Day Update for Monday, February 1st. We're into a new month and uh, markets are nuts. And today's update is brought to you by our friends at Family Farms, our new partners. And of course, on a day like today, the farmer certainly could use a good little hedge with uh, grains high early and now getting hammered with uh, wheat down 12, soybeans down 13, and corn down about a nickel. Uh, again, this is why we, we, we formed this relationship so we can learn to help educate our farmers and help them be more efficient and make more cash. In the meantime, the markets are exploding higher. After a devastating open last night, they were getting crushed. And suddenly we now see a massive rally, especially in the NASDAQ. Uh, we have actually rotated out. We are short the Dow and the S&P and long the NASDAQ and the Russell. Uh, so you can see that, as I tell you all the time, we will adjust to the conditions. And that is exactly what the trends were telling us to do. So that is exactly what we've done. Uh, obviously, the big story is the uh, uh, Reddit's Wall Street bets, which has been pumping and dumping some of these stocks. And of course, I'd love to see if they're actually front running and who's actually behind this. In the meantime, the silver was over, up over $3. It is now up, uh, around 2 And I would say that, that you've probably seen the highs for the day, maybe even the highs for the move. I don't know how much they can think they can do in, in the manipulation of uh, something that is not that overly shorted to begin with. In the meantime, we're still short silver. We're still short gold, which is higher. But we're long platinum, which is up pretty big as well. So th those are the, the standings there. And we'll see, obviously, if silver stays up on the day, we'll probably be reversing tomorrow. Uh, gold is still probably a ways away. In the meantime, crude has been all over the map, but it's higher and we're still long. The dollar is higher, which we are long. Uh, net gas is higher and we are long. Copper is lower and we are still long that as well. Uh, but, you know, when you look at markets, you just have to continue to follow the path of least resistance. It really comes down to something that is that simple. It is about the overall path of least resistance. So don't think that you're going to outsmart these markets, okay? And by the way, I didn't forget to mention, bonds and notes are slightly higher. We are short bonds, long notes, okay? And of course, as we look, take a look in the agricultural world, uh, we've already talked about the grains, but of course, the meats are, uh, cattle is split, feeders are down a shade, uh, fats are up a shade, and, and hogs are near the flat line. And in the softs, you've got, uh, cotton higher, we're long. You've got OJ lower, which we are short. You've got coffee higher, which we are long. Sugar higher, which we are long. And of course, cocoa down when we are short. So again, overall, the picture is the picture. And we will continue to follow the path. We will use our algorithms. That's the only way that we trade, all mechanical. So all, you know, all the, uh, the panic emails and things about what's going on silver, hey, if we have to reverse, we'll reverse. That's the end of the day. If, it's, if we're going to get a huge move, we're going to be on the right side. It's that simple. In the meantime, our other partners that we do do some business with, and of course, our brokerage partners, and again, I do have other brokers, but the two we prefer for futures and commodities is, is the CTG group. First of all, I do a phenomenal job with great customer service. They are the only authorized letter of direction trader for us, or the ones who get our signals. So they are a wonderful partner. And of course, for equities and options, there is Tradier. And of course, the first thing is they're $10 a month. They're a great customer service. Uh, we've got their API. So you have the option to automate your port trading if you'd like to. And of course, they're giving away a free options course with the next class, number four, being on Saturday, uh, February the 6th at noon Eastern. And then, of course, don't forget about our great commodity report, Andy Heck writes. It is phenomenal. And I'm making the offer this week. If you'd like to see last week's technical report, if you're interested in signing up, then certainly I will be happy to send you for no charge. You can email me at bub at bubbatrading.com. I'll send you last week's report. And of course, our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And we will see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Day update. Have a great day, everybody. It's a wild one. It would not surprise me one bit if the markets actually turned 
negative from here and the highs are in for the day. But we will see at the end of the day. And that's just a thought. Remember that. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.